Yo guys, what is up? I'm back with a tutorial, and this tutorial we're going to go over on how to make a Minecraft server by port forwarding. So if you do not know what port forwarding is, it's basically where you just uh, open up ports on your mod slash router and you let other people listen into that port uh, with a specific IP that you have and it lets your friend connect to your server without using a program called Hamachi or any passwords or anything like that. So yeah, so before we can get started, I recommend this tutorial for more advanced users. So if you're not that tech savvy, you might want to check out an easier tutorial on how to do this, which is located in the description. So let's get let's go ahead and get started. So what you want to do is you want to make a <coughs> new file on your desktop and you want to name it server just like that. And then you want to go ahead and open up your internet browser and you want to head to this URL Minecraft dot net slash download just like that let it load once it's done loading you want to go all the way down to where it says multiple server and you want to go ahead and download this minecraft uh, underscore server dot exe so just click on that it should tell you where to save it just go ahead and save it in the server folder so just save it in there and after it's done downloading you want to go ahead and open up that folder and you'll see the file we just downloaded so you just want to uh, start up this uh, program just, just click on it and it should start momentarily so just let it do that go ahead and run it and it should start uh, getting in all the files for you to start the server so just let it do that. Um, it might come with some warnings and stuff. Just ignore that. It's okay. So I'm just gonna let it spawn the areas and stuff, and I'll be right back. Once it's done, I should tell you that you want to just click on the blank here and type in the word stop, and hit enter, and it should save the world. And once it's done doing that, you can exit it out. So just go ahead and hit the X. Alright, so as you can see I made new files in that folder, we're going to be needing all of this, so we're just going to go ahead and minimize it for now, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go on start, and you want to go ahead and type in cmd, just like that, and you want to open up cmd.exe, and this should open up your Windows command prompt, once you're here you want to type in the following key, ipconfig, I'm going to hit enter, you want to go up to where it says IPv4 address and the default gateway. So you want to uh, note these two down. So what I would do, I would just go on Notepad, then uh, type it in. So the uh, IPv4 is 192.168.0.3, and the default default gateway is 192.168.0.1 uh, these two numbers I mean IP addresses here are really important so you have to keep it keep up with it for the rest of the video so then what we're gonna do is just exit out of that for now and we're gonna go ahead and open up our browser again and we're gonna head to um, the default gateway which is this right here so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna go to it So just let it load a little bit. And once we're here, uh, you should see a whole new different login and stuff depending on your router. So I have a Motorola router and it looks like this. So uh, it's going to ask for a username and a password. So this is, believe it or not, the hardest part of the video is knowing your username and password. So by default, most routers have admin as their username and password for password if it's not that that means someone changed it or you need to contact your uh, internet service provider or you need to look up it look it up in your router's manual or something like that um, other default passwords could be admin and admin for both it could be username then uh, password for here or there it there could be no password for password so it really it really depends on what router you have so um if you're stuck on this part, 
I've left a link down below in the description which you can check out to see if your router is there and if it is there you click on it it tells you some uh, default username and password for that specific router so anyways I'm going to log in with my password here and just log in I'll wait for it to do that alright once we're in here um, yours might look totally different uh, again so it depends on your router so uh, what you want to do is you want to go on something called port forwarding if you can't see it on the first page you might want to go on the uh, different tabs and stuff so mine is located under advanced then uh, it's called forwarding but your might yours might be different so just find find where it says port forwarding just go on it and you should come up with something that looks like this at a start port end port and a protocol so just find something that looks like this on your uh, routers homepage thingy alright so uh, once you're here what you want to do is you want to open up the notepad where we had our um, IPv4 address so this one right here um, you want to copy the last digit so the last digit like after everything and you want to copy that so minus three and you want to put it right here so backspace and just paste it in right there so three and then on start port you want to put minecraft's default port which is 25565 end port is the same 25565 and i have all this external shit you don't need that but um yeah so you want to put you want to go to protocol and you want to put both if it doesn't have both you can put tcp over here then you want to do the whole thing again like on this on a second line and you want to uh, put 25565 over here 25565 and you want to put UDP over here if it if only it does not have the both selection if it doesn't just go ahead and do that but mine does so I'm going to erase it erase everything and just put it back how it was and on the uh, the one we were working with we're going to put both and we're going to go ahead and enable it so just check that box if it has any and you want to go ahead and apply so this might take a little well, really did but uh, yeah so after you've done that what you want to do is you want to open back up the server folder so just open it back up and you want to open up this folder right here server.properties just open it up with notepad or anything like that and once you open it up you should get all these codes and stuff uh, what you want to look for is is server IP so by over here you want to put uh, the IP for V4 sorry address I know I keep butchering that but just copy it and put it in right there oops there should be no spaces okay now uh, you're pretty much done you can mess with the settings if you want don't, like don't mess it up too much cuz you know it might mess up your whole server but uh, yeah, so I'm going to go to file and save it and I'm going to exit that out and then you want to back up the minecraft underscore server thing just double click it and start it up again go ahead and run it and it should start uh, the server so let it prepare the world Alright, it's done. Your server is online, so just minimize this right here. And we're gonna go ahead and exit out the folder. Then we're gonna go ahead and go open back up our browser one more time. And we want to go uh, to Google. And just wait for it to load. Alright, and you want to type in this in the search box. What is my IP? Go ahead and hit enter. And it should tell you your public IP. Now this is the address that you want to show your friends so they can join your server. And mine is blurred out because I don't want... Um, it's just for my privacy so just go ahead and uh, copy the IP address and you want to uh, go to Minecraft then direct connect and you want to put in that address 
just like that and you want to go ahead and join server and if it logs into your server congrats you have your server online and you can give your friends the IP and they can join and just make sure you have the uh, the thing the thing that pretty much runs the whole server running in the background as well because that runs the whole server and yeah you should have your server ready to go so that's pretty much it uh, guys and uh, thanks for watching so